Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have my very first monthly spread in a year. It's been such a long time. Um, and this kit is from Sadie Stickers. It is reformatted and I actually have both of the pages with the checklist as well as the decorative sidebar along with the journaling add-on. And I also pulled in two deco sheets from the weekly spread or the weekly kit. But um, before I do get started, I do want to apologize for my voice. I'm just waking up, so I have like morning voice and um, it's pretty like raspy. But anyways, um, I was so out of it doing this plan with me. I haven't done a monthly in since like December of 2020, which is insane. And I had to be very, very mindful of the days because I didn't realize that Sadie Sticker's planner, I didn't realize that her monthly planner section started on a Monday versus a Sunday. And every time I've done monthlies um, or the planners I've had in the past, I've always had the monthly start on a Sunday because that's how I like to look at my my weeks at a glance. <laughs> I know on the it's weird because in the weekly, I start on a Monday, right? Or no, do I start on Monday? Gosh, I can't even, I can't even remember. Yes, I start on a Monday, but then, and I, and I, you know, notate my weekends at the end of the week. Um, but when I'm looking at a calendar for like a month section, I do prefer to start on a Sunday because I don't know. I think that's odd. I know some people do like it differently. Um, I've always just looked at a monthly calendar that way because to me, like an official start of a week is Sunday. Um, but the official start of a work week is Monday. You know, if you work a traditional Monday to Friday, but anyways, um, <laughs> I had to be very mindful because the numbers, obviously, since I started, um, I, I switched up where the week started. I had to be mindful of like the days and the numbers. So anyways, um, I was so out of practice doing this plan with me. I haven't done a monthly in so, so long. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I did talk about how I wanted my monthly to be not like the traditional daily highlights that I used to do for like all of 2020 and before that. Um, but I did want to do like major highlights, you know, a couple of days here and there, and then mostly through the weekend that you'll see. And then I did want to decorate the other white space and areas with just the deco, especially because monthly deco is quite large and I have such a fun time using larger floral pieces. And I wanted to play around with trims, um, all of that good stuff. Heavily inspired by Tay of Shantae Plans. Her monthly section is phenomenal. I know that she does like a pre-plan. So she puts down like her bills and big important dates and stuff like that. So I was actually looking back at her monthly after I did mine. And um, she definitely does have a lot more white space because it's a pre-plan. Whereas for me, I went through all of my weeks and I picked out highlights that I really did want to mark at a, a monthly glance because um, I don't use my monthly section functionally whatsoever. Um, I rarely use a monthly in even my functional planner functionally. So I I just really take it day at a time and I have a calendar for work um, that I use that is very, you know, functional. It's on my computer and that's the main thing I really look at. And then I use my iPhone calendar um, to track all of my bills. That's just kind of how I've always functioned. I do like um, tracking bills and important dates and stuff in my iPhone. It's just a lot easier for me that way. Um, and I feel like with monthly plans, things are always subject to change, except for bills, which boo. Um, but I just, I don't know. I'm very, that's just how I view things. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I've totally talked over. Um, I'm going to switch up the deco with the tree and the washi strip there. You'll see that in a little bit or the torn paper. Um, I didn't realize, but I prefer the look of the torn paper on like the top left hand corner of the two pages and then the bottom right hand corner. So you'll see me change that later, but I'm kind of sprinkling floral throughout the entire spread, mixing the larger pieces from the monthly deco as well as the weekly deco, the smaller pieces. Um, on the first, I marked New Year's Day using a deco piece. That bow was is from White Deer Stationery. I don't think she sells them anymore. I might be wrong. Um, and then the firework is from Sadie Stickers. New Year's Day script is from Paper Trail Plans. 
um, to mark sushi, I'm using a Crafts by Taui icon. And then I thought this little like clip art scene was so perfect to mark the first day of snow that we had. And it was just so cute because it's, you know, a picture of um, a house with the trees and the snow. And I thought that was so adorable. Um, is the front door? Yeah, the front door is red. I think it's so cute. And yeah, so I wanted to mark the first day of snow that way. I also just marked a Starbucks run on the 6th using a Starbucks run script from Paper Trail Plans. Most of my icons, the foiled ones, are from Crafts by Taui, and then the colored ones are from um, White Deer Stationery. I actually don't know if I pulled that many from her. Uh, okay, looking at my planner now, I think I only pulled in two from her, and then the other, like, sleeping mask one, um, I think that was a freebie from one of her, um, obviously, one of White Deer Stationery's freebies. So... Um, on the 8th, you don't see it on the screen here because I kind of talked um, over it, but uh, we drove up to um, Northern Virginia to visit some friends and then I used a like super cute road trip, um, like like a road sticker from White Deer Stationery. Those are from Freebies and I love them. I actually need to go buy a full sheet of them because they're really cute to mark just traveling or going on a road trip or whatever. On the 9th, I had Korean barbecue at home. We don't do that very often because going out to the international store, like the Asian international store, is pretty out of the way for us. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's always, always, I hate driving into that city because it is so busy. I, I, traffic and driving into like congested areas are one of my biggest pet peeves and I get really bad anxiety about it. Um, I saw someone post on an Instagram story. <laughs> this made me laugh so hard because it's so accurate. Um, they they say that they look up, like the, the TikTok or the real video was, they look at the parking situation for where they're going to go. And if it's too much or too much of a hassle, they just won't even go. <laughs> I think that's so funny because that really does give me anxiety too. Like I, parking situations really, really irk me. Um, and I think one time I was actually interviewing for a job and it was in like downtown. And, you know, if you guys are familiar, downtown is just always so busy or major cities are always so busy and parking garages are a pain in the butt. Um, so when I saw that, that was a huge, like turn off when it comes to, when it came to that job, I was like, oh, but do I really want to have to deal with this every single morning? <laughs> um, I know it sounds, it sounds silly, but you know. It is what it is. Um, it wasn't meant to be because I didn't end up taking that job anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, so on the 10th, we watched Encanto. Um, super cute. Uh, that is a really gorgeous, like, all-foiled scallop from Miss and Meow. Adore them so much. And I tried, I don't know why or what I was thinking, but I don't have, like, colored bows. So I put a foiled bow on the foiled scallop, and I was like, what are you doing, Rachel? Like, it's just going to blend into the foil. <laughs> why? Um, so it's fine. On the 11th and 12th, I didn't mark anything special, so I used some deco and I just kind of floralized it. I thought that was really pretty, and I'm pulling in some trims from Sadie Stickers, these snowflake trims. I really need to get more because I use them so much, um, and I don't only use them in like my bottom washi. I use them throughout my spread, um, the top day cover section, all of that good stuff. You might have seen this already, but at the bottom left-hand corner, I did like a deco scene with the outfit that was so cute. Um, Something that I struggled with and I had to kind of keep, um, you know, into consideration throughout this entire spread was because I was only picking certain highlights throughout the entire month, not like every single day, there were certainly days that were empty and white spacey. So I was able to use up the larger deco pieces and make cute little scenes with or um, just like make it, you know, really deco and journal-y looking. However, um, I had to be mindful of the spacing and that's something to really consider. Tay has a whole Patreon class on stuff like this, so please check her out. Uh, super affordable and she teaches about like layering and um, how things like just look visually on, on the paper and the page and how to make it look good collectively. So I think this is something that um, she can explain significantly better than I can, but just being mindful of the larger deco pieces with the smaller ones and the smaller icons and spreading it out so it looks, you know, even throughout the entire, you know, two pages um, and it's dispersed like properly so it doesn't look cluttered in one area and like only large deco pieces are used in one section versus the other and, and small ones in other sections. So 
I struggled a lot with that because again, this was my first time doing a monthly in well over a year. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to also be mindful of the like full boxes I was pulling in in the monthly section because that can truly make monthly spreads look very blocky. So using different shapes with like the florals and the circle boxes or the swatches give it a lot more um, like, you know, give it, is it dynamics? I don't, am, I, am I making up words? I don't know. It, it just makes it look better. Okay. That's basically what we're here for. I'm trying to use large words at nine in the morning and it's not working out for me because it's Monday and I'm tired and yeah. Okay. <laughs> it just gives it a lot of visual appeal, right? Like using different shaped boxes, um, just different shapes and the flow looks better. Like here when I was tucking some of the florals behind um, a deco piece, it just looks really good. And, and the idea that Tay has, I didn't really have any like travel or things to mark to span more than one day or something but she normally does like um, a, a large like deco scene with florals to indicate that it's, you know, happening every Wednesday or something, or it takes up the full span of several days to mark like travels. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this plan with me, this monthly plan with me. It's been a long time since I've done one, but I think it turned out really pretty. I was struggling a lot if you only watched the real time <laughs> that it took for me to do this and how many times I was lifting stickers, rearranging them. It took a lot of time, but once I find my groove, I'm sure I'll get back to it. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and take care. Talk to you next time. Bye everybody.